Moving on to six. Which statement best describes the mechanism of the unimolecular elimination of tert butyl chloride with ethanol? Now, this is a tricky question because what you automatically think of is you think elimination, tert butyl, oh, that must be a bulky base because you've seen this so many times. And you think, oh, maybe that's E2. But that's not the case here. This is describing your alkyl halide. It is not describing the base. Your base is ethanol. So instead, let's write out what this would be. Tert butyl would look like this. And I have chloride. That was your other hint that it was your alkyl halide. Another thing here with ethanol. I know ethanol is going to be a neutral or weak base. Another clue for E1 was, besides this, was the fact that it said unimolecular. Unimolecular refers to E1 elimination. If it said bimolecular, then that would have been E2. Now that we know that this is talking about an E1 reaction, I'm going to apply this to everything that we have. First option, the reaction is concerted, so it happens in a single step. That's not true. E1 has two steps. So no, that's out. The reaction involves a homolytic cleavage. Well, if you forgot what this meant, remember this goes back to radicals. That is involving radicals. That is not true. If this instead said heterolytic, then that would have been correct. But because it said homolytic, that's referring to radicals, that's out. Next, the rate determining step is the formation of a radical. Nope, this isn't anything to do with radicals. Our only option left is D. We'll double check that that is correct. The rate determining step is the formation of a carbocation. Yes, that does make sense. We do form a carbocation for an E1 reaction. 